Greetings everyone and welcome back to Lucas Bruce. In today's video we're going to be having a little look and build of the Airfix 176 scale Willys Jeep. Uh, so there's a brilliant little kit by Airfix. It's got the Willys Jeep as well as a little freight pallet, uh, but also a trailer and one of the little howitzers. Uh, and there's a few different options for the Jeep, uh, but since this is the second part in the MASH diorama series, I'll be doing the Jeep as one of the ambulance Jeeps that has a little construction for the stretchers to sit on on the hood. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. First of all, I degreased the moulds by giving them a wash in some warm soapy water and then began assembling the model. Assembly begins with the chassis and the body, which I did in separate parts. After assembling the chassis and the suspension, which comes in two pieces, I then glued the body side panels together, and after putting the tow hook onto the chassis, glued the body to the chassis. I glued the front radiator onto the car and then began to cut out and then assemble the finer details. These included the seats for the inside, the gearbox and gear shifting sticks, and also a small dashboard. The small parts are a little bit fiddly and the steering wheel especially is quite delicate, so I recommend you take it very carefully with those parts. Next I apply a thin coat of Tamiya XF62 Olive Drab all over the body of the car and also on the wheels while they're still on the sprue. I use water to thin down the Tamiya paint to help make the paint coats nice and thin. It's better to build up multiple layers of thin coats, even though it takes longer it will mean that you'll get less brush strokes and produce a more airbrushed look. I scratch built the structure to carry the stretchers for the MASH Jeep out of some spare frame parts and the spare freight pallet for the Jeep. I simply cut out the excess parts I didn't want and then glued it onto the bonnet later on. I used some aluminium packaging to create the lights by cutting out a strip and gluing it onto the back of the clear parts for the lights. Once the lights are in position I could then glue the bonnet and then following that the accessories for the stretcher bearing. I painted an additional coat of olive drab all over the model once again, keeping the coats nice and thin and trying to apply them in the same direction to reduce the brush strokes and create a nice uniform paint layer. Once I'd done a second coat on the wheels, I then used some Tamiya XF1 flat black and a very fine brush to paint the tyres onto the wheels. I keep the paint pretty thin with water to help it flow a little bit more easily and then just guide it gently around with my brush. It's also good to keep the finer parts on the sprue while you paint them, so you can use the rest of the sprue as a handle. After the black has had two coats, I then neaten up any mistakes using the same fine brush and some olive drab. Following this, I paint the canvas seats Tamiya XF51 khaki drab before gluing all of the wheels in place. With the wheels glued on, I once again neaten up any mistakes with the fine brush, and then I apply the decals. To apply the decals, I simply put the transfer paper in some water and wait until the decals start to slide off the page. The rear lights were painted Tamiya X27 clear red before some flat aluminium was applied using a fine brush to create some chipping of the metal. One of the last things I then did was to apply some very, very thinned down Tamiya XF1 flat black all over the model. By thinning the paint down, it will flow into the gaps and cracks, making the model a little bit darker and helping to highlight the details. I made some stretches out of some tissue paper and florist wire and super glued them together and painted them khaki drab. Off camera, I also watered down some Tamiya XF52 flat earth and using a fine brush applied it around the wheel arches and on the bumper bar to create some weathering. And with that, the model was completed. I did also add a crew figure who was a spare from a Hasegawa US cargo truck and I think he kind of looks like Radar O'Reilly which I'm quite pleased with. Otherwise this is a brilliant little kit and I didn't get to show a lot of the features such as the trailer and the pack howitzer in this build video but that's also included in this kit. Uh, obviously I didn't experience too many difficulties building that kit, it's uh, very easy to build, the parts all fitted together wonderfully, and the details are really quite nice. Uh, and I do like all the options for things like the Vickers machine guns to do the desert jeep if you wanted to modify it, or the, uh, the 50 cals and the 30 cals, so there's a lot you can do with this kit which is brilliant, it's a great little base for uh, dioramas. That was part 2 of the MASH diorama building uh, series I'm working on at the moment. Um, so this video was obviously sponsored by Tectonic Hobbies, the local store for hobby needs on the Sunshine Coast, and uh, also the Queensland Air Museum. So uh, obviously this was all done for the Helicopter Day Open Day a couple months back, 
Uh, but I'll be working on some more projects with them that are uh, more recent, so uh, stay tuned for those videos. Uh, I'd also like to give a very big shout out to my wonderful patrons who've been funding my videos. Uh, they include Archie Palmer, Emo, JNK Jones, and of course, Joan Moss. So uh, thank you very much. If you want to check out uh, my Patreon page, you can support me for as little as a dollar a month. And there's also a Patreon tier that has more exclusive awards, including some behind the scenes stuff, uh, which I'll be doing a few more regular posts on in the coming months. Uh, but I've already got some nice content out there, so uh, be sure to check that out if you're interested and want to help support my channel a little bit more. And uh, otherwise, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, be sure to leave them down in the comment section below. And uh, as always, thank you very much, and model on!